Does this work for every age? Absolutely. <laughs>never too late to do face yoga. Um, the earlier you start, you know, if you start in your late teens, early 20s, it's going to help with overall well-being, it's going to help reduce stress, particularly a lot of the acupressure points, plus you're going to help keep your circulatory system, your lymphatic drainage system working as effectively as possible in this area and you'll keep those muscles under the skin nice and toned. If you're starting this later in life, if you're starting in your 60s or 70s or 80s, that's also fine. You're never too late to tone a muscle, never too late to boost the circulation, never too late to relax tension and tightness and stress in the face, never too late to care for yourself from the inside out. Remember, that's a huge part of my method, the Danielle Collins Face Yoga Method. It's about how we treat ourselves on the inside, our lifestyle, our wellness, how we feel in our mind as well. So never too late to do any of that. Okay. What is the best practice for smile lines? So do you mean smile lines on um, eyes or around the mouth area? Um, I will show you things for both. So for this area, um, there's a really lovely technique which I like doing called flirty eyes. And this is one of them actually that I teach in our face yoga teacher training course. So you place the fingers here, you make an O shape with your mouth, look up and flutter your upper eyelids. And do that for 30 seconds and that's great for working this part of the eye muscle and here as well and you'll also feel that working around the mouth so actually that one's good for here and here also smile lines here you want to be lifting and firming your cheek area so one of my favorite ones again if you're used to my account you'll know that this is one of my favorites you puff the cheeks out full of air hold here you place your fingers over your lips just to smooth any smile lines and then we're tapping And you can do 15 to 30 seconds on each side there. Um, corner of lips, please. Do some acupressure for that area. Often the energy can get quite stagnant around the lips and particularly the corners of the lips. So use your index fingers and press into this area. And you can just close your lips, close your eyes and breathe and press for about 30 seconds and then massage one way um, massage the other way about 30 seconds each time that's really going to help how do you get rid of acne over the face through massage or face exercise so if you've got a lot of live acne don't do too much massage on that area it just aggravates it you can certainly still do exercise you can work the muscles underneath the skin that's only going to help to lift and firm and that's only also going to help to boost the overall circulation um, if it's just acne overall that you're concerned about, um, maybe you've got acne prone skin, so maybe not live acne, it's really working from the inside out. I've got um, a couple of good podcasts, so my podcast of the Face Yoga Expert podcast about acne, and it talks through different lifestyle changes you can make, how it's about mind and body. But I'd definitely say if you've got live adult acne and it's a recurring problem, Speak to a dermatologist and really get to the bottom of why you're getting the acne, whether it's hormonal, whether it's stress, whether it's diet related. And often it can just be a small little change and that can make a big difference to the skin. Yeah.